Hey everyone and welcome back to my channel. It's Rena and I'm so happy that you are joining me on today. Hold on just a minute. I wanted to get some light going on. So yeah, so I'm glad that you are joining me on today. Today, as you can see, I am sitting in my office because I will be cleaning this nasty office so I can get it ready for tomorrow and Monday. So yeah, in today I will be demonstrating how to get rid of bed bugs with using those two products that I know y'all saw in the thumbnail, the iron and the steamer. So if you don't have a steamer, no worries because we I will show you how to use it with the urn, okay? If you don't have a steamer. So if you'd like to see that, please follow me. So y'all, I am back and I am going to um, speed this video up for you, the, the cleaning part, and then I will come back and just demonstrate to y'all how to um, use those two, the uh, steamer and the urn. But y'all, I am on a time limit right here, right now. So that's why I'm going to be doing this in increments as well. So yeah, so I want to show y'all at least me emptying my trash, y'all. This is my office trash, okay? So yeah, so let's get this thing started. So now, guys, I am just doing the other part of my office, getting my um, computer wiped down real well and also my headset and just moving my plants out the way so I can clean off my desk, y'all. Yes, I have a whole desk that goes all the way around and my other computers is on the other one on the other side. So now I'm just putting stuff back, getting everything in order. You just want to make sure that you are keeping everything clean because if you're not tidy, that's when the bed bugs can come. So I don't have any, any more bed bugs and I'm so, so excited about that. And if you will just continue to stick with me and be on my channel, subscribe, all of that goodness, you will not have bed bugs again. Okay. Now you want to sweep your floor, make sure everything is clean because if you don't do this part, then I feel like nothing's clean if you're not sweeping your floor. So make sure that you sweep your floor as well. how to do the two um use those two household products getting rid of bed bugs yes and it works now i am just turning on my uh iron i already turned my steamer on and you want to make sure these are getting hot okay both of them okay so yeah so we're gonna wait a while while those get steamed up ready to go and it shouldn't take this iron that long to steam i already filled them up with water both of them let's put this on steam make sure that your urn is on steam as well and it's taking a while for this iron to steam up there we go y'all hear that steam yes there's the steam so you want to make it put it down on down close to the carpet and also you can push the button let's see Look at all that steam. Yes. So this is for those of you that don't have a steamer at home. Get as close as you can without touching the carpet. Now there is a steaming thing on here. I don't understand why it's not doing anything yet. There it is. Y'all hear it? Y'all hear it? Hear the steam? And then that water down there? Yes, because I did fill this up with water as I said. Now I'm just waiting on my steamer to get done too. And y'all, this will take a lot of work, but it's worth it. And I only do this, the iron part, I would do for a little small area. But the steamer is best for, you know, those great big areas. So you want to use your, if you have a steamer, just use your steamer. It'll be much easier on you. So, oh, y'all, water's coming out of it too because I filled it up, y'all. So you want to make sure that the steam is coming out and it's getting ready, y'all. It's getting there. Hasn't quite got there yet, which I thought it did. 
So yeah, so just want to make sure. And I like to steam up my carpets. Which y'all, I can honestly say, I promise y'all I don't have no bed bugs running around here. I haven't seen one, but I did want to come and demonstrate for you guys so y'all can know exactly what to do for these little critters, okay? Because we do not want these little critters running around our households. And so, yeah. This would hurry up and come on. I'm not seeing the steam yet. I'm ready for the steam to come in. Here it comes, y'all. Sometimes it takes a minute for these steamers to steam up real good. And I did go to Walmart and I saw a steamer that you can use without being down here on the floor. If you do not feel comfortable with getting down, there is a steamer that you can use that you can stand up. Okay. So, yeah. I'll be right back. Okay, here we go. For all my newbies out there that have not seen me steam my rug, you want to make sure that you get down in that rug and stay close as possible and in one area for as long as you can for a little bit just to make sure that if there's a bed bug around that it's going to die because th they cannot stand heat at all and if you keep it in that area for a while the carpet will get real hot the temperature is real high so yeah and i will be steaming this whole area in my office because y'all i just want to make sure that i don't which i know i don't because i haven't seen one my kids, they have not complained about one uh, crawling or eating on them. They will rest assured they'll tell me if something's biting them. So I haven't even seen that. So I know that they're gone because if they wasn't gone, I would at least see them. I don't see any, haven't been bitten, haven't, you know. So if y'all use some of these um, home remedies that I am telling you guys, you will be fine. You will make it. They will go away and you won't have them anymore. But you do have to be extra cautious about when people come over to your house, um, about where you're going, um, being in taxi cabs, Ubers, all of that stuff. So these are tips I'm giving y'all, okay, to be careful so you won't bring them into your house at all. Um, going to hotels, um, that is one of the first places that we probably picked them up at and when my husband was um, driving taxi cabs. So I'm just letting you know. Be very careful when doing stuff like that, okay? Um, and and then if someone offer you some furniture, examine it real well, real well, because you don't know what's in that furniture and why they're getting rid of it. So yeah, so you want to make sure that you don't have anything that's going to bring those bugs, because if it become an infestation, it's going to be hard harder to get rid of. And you probably will have to call an exterminator because the infestation is very hard to get rid of. But if you're just seeing one or two here and there, then it'll be easier and faster and quicker to get rid of. So, yeah, we did not have an infestation. So I'm thanking God for that. OK, so that's why I was able to get rid of these bed bugs. Just wanted to come back and check in with you guys. Love you. Be blessed.